the interesting thing about my character in this particular show is that I have a, a very deep connection to the character before the show, which is that when I read this book and I was very small, he was the first character in a book where I'm like, man, this bad guy is ten times cooler than the rest of these guys. So, you know, you end up de developing a connection. You see Treasure Island playing at the Norval, and you're like, I gotta be in that. I gotta get that. So, you know, you start growing the hair, you grow the, the facial hair, and you just hope that Reed will cast you. And you get in here and you realize that even below just liking him because he's cool, you have the, the extra benefit of that you actually get human nature in there. Because Robert Louis Stevenson, the guy who wrote the book, and also the guy who adapted it into the play, did a very good job showing, you know, this weird dichotomy that you get between good and evil in a person, and that they can be just wonderful, magnanimous, generous people to a character like Jim, who is, you know, young. He takes the surrogate father, his, Jim's father is deceased, so Long John Silver steps up. But at the same time, you have this really cool, evil pirate who murders people, and he's just not above just being a ruthless scoundrel, which is very interesting to play. Also, you know, there's the benefit of the pirate voice, which is absolutely fantastic. Can you do a pirate voice for us? Can you? Oh, I do the pirate voice throughout the entire play. Do a very deep, kind of gruff thing. Move your hands a lot. <laughs> well, tell us who would enjoy this show. Uh, I believe this show is is a very, of course, all across all ages, but it really hits home with a uh, kind of a early adolescence, mid-adolescence, because it is a coming-of-age tale at the very center of it. Aside from, you know, the swashbuckling and the action adventure, you get Jim growing up slowly as he realizes just how cruel and wonderful the world is all at the same time. So I really think it's targeted there, but, you know, kids love pirates, adults love pirates, adults love character development, and this show has a great bit of all of it. Now, um, tell me, give me just, I guess, sort of a brief synopsis of the show, I guess, for someone who maybe has never read the book. So the easiest way to describe it is you end up, it's a very general uh, arc in story in that you start with the tragedy, you have the big issue where Jim gets sent away to the sea, and then it moves from there into slowly building in the rising action, which you're on the ship and you're enjoying what pirates do, how pirate life is, and then you have the big turn where it's the mutiny and you have the issue of these pirates are actually evil, they're not crew members, they're bad people. And then it becomes the big treasure hunt on the island. It's very interesting, it's very dark, and there's a jungle, and it's, it's, it's oppressive, and it's green, and it's fantastic, all at the same time. And then finally you have this great resolution, which, you know, don't want to spoil anything, because who wants to do that? But you end up with, uh, everyone gets a decent amount of closure, and it's not too brutal for anybody.